नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू दिस वेरी वेरी फ्रेश सीरीज एंड एंडेवर दैट्स कॉल्ड इंडिया के लिए विद द थॉट प्रोसेस बी दैट लेट्स स्टॉप बीइंग अ लिटिल सेल्फिश एंड स्टार्ट बीइंग सेल्फलेस लेट्स ट्राई आल्सो एंड कंसीडर इन व्हाट वी डू व्हाट वी थिंक व्हाट वी पोस्ट कि भाई देश के लिए क्या कर रहे हैं इंडिया के लिए क्या कर रहे हैं एंड वी स्टार्ट दिस सीरीज विद अ पर्सन हुज निक नेम टाइनी बट हुज अचीवमेंट्स आर सो टॉल ही इज जस्ट बीन कन्फर्ड द परम विशेष सेवा मेडल He is a former uh, commander of the 15th Corps and also the DG of the Directorate of uh, Defence Intelligence. And it is Lieutenant General K J S Dhillon, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very, very much. And uh, you are the first to start this series. So, Shubharam, Aapi ke saath ho raha hai for somebody who's committed nearly four decades of his life in service of the country. So, let me first start asking you with, what does the tricolour mean for you, and what does Bharat or India mean for you? Uh, first of all, uh, good morning to you. And the tricolour, I think it means everything to me. If you say my life, I would put it in the manner that it starts with India, it starts with tricolour, and it will end with India. It will end with the tricolour. And the biggest wish for any soldier is to go back home in a tricolour. And that is what tricolour means to a soldier. I think this is the ultimate honor to hold a flag, to keep it high and keep it highest at all levels, and give your best, even the life. But let me ask you this: Should that mean? Should the tricolour mean that only to a soldier, or should that mean to every Indian? No, tricolour is a national flag, and as a nation, every citizen of India has to hold the tricolour high. Every citizen of India has to contribute to what we call comprehensive national power. Mm. Nations don't become strong because of the strong armies. Nations don't become strong because strong economies. Nations don't become strong because strong diplomacy. Mm. Nations become strong because every citizen of that nation contributes to the comprehensive national power. If you are taking oil, there is a shop of oil in your house. And if you do a good job of it, you produce good quality oil which can be exported. That would contribute to comprehensive national yeah. power. So no citizen of India should think. That only the nation is because the army or the defence forces or the political people or the bureaucracy or the hierarchy or for that matter the media hmm. is doing a good job. Every citizen has to do a good job to make the nation strong and hmm. to make India strong. So let's start from the very beginning because he is also writing, penning his memoir. So a lot of what <laughs> General Saab is going to speak to us, he is penning it in a memoir called "Kitne Gazi Aaye or Kitne Gazi Gaye." But shuru se shuru karte, sir. Let me ask you. How did this jazba start? You know, is it a family of soldiers, and that's why you had no other path to go, or were you always oriented and you you thought that this is what I want to do? Uh, it's a mixture of both. Hmm. My grandfather served the Indian Army, hmm. and uh, then my father is a civil engineer. Hmm. He served the nation in a different manner, and I, of course, uh, joined the army. My father wanted me to join uh, his business, hmm. but I prefer to join the army uh, hmm. for the reason that uh, it's a small. Uh, Story behind it. In my class, mm. we had a class fellow of mine, mm. Mr. Harish Jang Bahadur. Yeah. He was the fifth brother, okay. and elder four brothers had joined NDA. Wow! And he also was son of an army man, mm. and he was so passionate about joining the army that he, in those days, there was no online filling of forms. Correct. So he went to the recruiting office, picked up the forms for the whole class, and he filled it also for everyone. <laughs> and that's how. I joined uh, NDA. So you never filled your own form. No, I never filled my own form. He filled my own form. Oh, lovely! And I must tell you a very in uh, interesting thing. Uh, my name used to be Kamal Jeet, generally ah, K A M A L, but he filled it at K A N W A L. <laughs> and because that was also the class 11th exam ah. was to come, and that is how this name Kamal came into being so instead of Kamal. So Kamal the, so from there Kamal ho gaya. Kamal ho gaya, and I think it's the right pronunciation also. Ah. <laughs> so became Kamal Jeet Singh Dillon. So yeah. then. फिर उसके बाद एनडीए गए तो दैट टाइम आपने कहा कि फॉर्म किसी और ने भरा लेकिन भर्ती हो गए देन व्हाट हैपेंड देन अगेन माय फादर डिडंट वांट मी टू जॉइन एंड ही वांटेड मी बट देन आई समहाउ कन्विंस्ड हिम आई जॉइन आई सेड ओके आई विल कम आउट लेटर बट देन देयर वाज नो कमबैक देयर वाज नो कमबैक या सो सी वाज माय फादर वाज हैवी दस फ्यू डेज अगो एंड ही इज वेरी हैप्पी एंड प्राउड ऑफ व्हाट एवर आई हैव अचीव्ड इन द आर्मी एंड आई so he is also now feeling very nice about when people talk to him hmm. and people talk about me or achievements or whatever so i think uh, he is very happy now 
you said something which you which you talked about comprehensive national park have you ever dealt with this thing ki aap to fauji ho to aapka kaam gan chalana hai why what's in it for me a lot of people will turn around and say ki bhai why should i feel the same way that you should do how what would you say to say it's yeah. like a human body or a car an automobile hmm. one part one part not working properly all the other parts are as inefficient as that part correct you have a pain in the neck or pain in the back hmm. or shoulder you are not yourself ha huh. you are not at your 100% efficiency hmm. so similarly soldiering is but one part of the whole concept called nation yeah it is not everything hmm. and like i said without this part or for that matter without any other part it hmm. may be a education field it may be a commerce field it may be transport field it may be anything hmm. without any part of the overall national concept hmm. nation will feel the pinch somewhere so soldiering is not the only thing which hmm. can contribute to comprehensive national power hmm. each one of us all 130 crore of us have to contribute to make the nation strong true now this is a generation that is uh, that's got lots of exposure hmm. it is seeing a lot which is outside in terms of uh, beyond india and there is a lot of western influence now there is a lot of indian understanding and indian influence so this generation what would you say what would you say uh, to this tech generation uh, that their orientation should be because sabke dimag mein hota na hum log bhi is phase mein guzre hain that those teens ki mai life mein karu kya what should i do so how should the orientation be would you say that you need to specifically target certain professions and certain jobs or would you say that no matter what you do just may you know bring a certain part of india into you and just put india first how do you do that how do you orient are, do you think all of us are oriented in that position how do we how do we get to do uh, that we may nation? not be oriented in a conscious hmm. way hmm. but in a subconscious manner hmm. definitely we all are again the point which i made earlier we all are contributing to india hmm. and for the generation which is uh, generation next as you called it or hmm. insta generation or the younger generation i like to say only one thing hmm. and that is failures are part of the game correct the best of the players like sachin tendulkar also get out at duck hmm. in the first inning that does not meaning mean that he cannot score a century in the second innings correct so you are not passing an exam or you are not passing an exam with a particular percentage of marks hmm. does not mean that's end of the book hmm. that just one bad chapter hmm. so never give up like i always say tootna buri baat nahi hai na टूट के गिरना बुरी बात नहीं है गिर के किसी कोने में पड़े रहना बुरी बात है टूट के जुड़ना हिम्मत है जुड़कर उड़ना हिम्मत है क्या बात सो दैट इज वट इज द मैसेज टू द जनरेशन नेक्स्ट डोंट गिव अप आई हैव फेस्ट फेलियर इन माई लाइफ आई हैव प्लग इन एग्जाम आई हैव नॉट क्लियर माई पर्टिकुलर क्लास इन अ पर्टिकुलर परसेंटेज बट दैट डज नॉट मीन आई गिव अप एंड आई से ओके दैट एंड ऑफ इट नो when i joined the army hmm. they were like i'll give you a small example yeah. pulwama hmm. it was a very sad day for the nation correct we lost our 40 brave hearts ji yeah. and that was the biggest challenge which could have uh, you know come across any nation ji yeah. and this uh, shouts or these whatsapp messages or the social media message how is the jash ha how is the josh ha how is the jash how is the jash ha and the whole nation Uh, morale probably was at the low Correct. that does not mean that uh, we could have just sat down hmm. that did not mean that we just let it be hmm. no we had to hit back hmm. and within 100 hours it came back how is the josh ha huh. correct so that is the way everyone has to handle his or her profession hmm. his or her job hmm. whatever the age hmm. again girna hai या फिर आप किसी फौजी को देखते हो फिर सल्यूट करते हो और फिर नेशन इज इन फॉर्म ऑफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट एंड सडनली दिस जज्बा कम्स देन द मोमेंट द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इज ओवर मैच इज ओवर आप स्टेडियम से बाहर निकल गए इट इज डिसिपेट्स is that a good thing how do i keep that permanent how do i make sure that in every indian this thing about india and this thing about that 
आई एम ऑल्सो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू माई कंट्री इज अ पैरल लाइन ऑफ थॉट इट्स नॉट कि कभी स्पाइक हुआ फिर गायब हो गया दैट्स वेयर आई एम काइंड टू पुश यू ऑन कि वॉट इज इज दैट वी नीड टू डू एज अ कंट्री स्पेशली इन दिस नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेट कि ये आज़ादी का अमृत काल है सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स हो गए अब हम खड़े हो रहे हैं yes. जवान हो रहे हैं तो वॉट शुड आई डू सी दो एग्जाम्पल विच यू गे वोट क्रिएट स्टेडियम एंड द फीलिंग ऑफ यू नो बींग प्राउड इंडियन दो स्पाइक्स विल कम दो स्पाइक्स विल कम एंड दो स्पाइक्स कैन नॉट बी मेनटेन एट दैट लेवल ऑल द टाइम बिकॉज यू हैव अदर थिंग्स टू डू विच आर इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट करेक्ट so when you are doing daily chores so when you are doing everything like when you are conducting a tv program or mm. a tv debate mm. at that time whenever a discussion comes on india that spike will come correct but that does not mean it is not there inside you ji mm. when you are discussing some other issue maybe you are discussing plants or forests and all that time it is there mm. underlying in the subconscious manner it will continue to be there in your heart and mind mm. but moment a word comes india desh bharat that spike will come and that must come but in our day to day life daily life we wear it in our heart hmm. we do not show it all the time yeah that's so true so wearing on the chest wearing inside the heart hmm. is uh, a subtle difference but then there are those who believe uh, uh, you know wh- when they come out and say my rebellious tree what what do you say to a generation which says it's my freedom i can i can question my country i can back people who say bharat tere tukde honge i can go ahead and uh, challenge those who are talking about ek bharat shreshth bharat somewhere do you feel and i do i'm not wanting to get into the realm of politics but i'm just saying that in settling political agenda somewhere nation is being compromised the idea of nationhood is being compromised and and those lines are getting diffused because aap fauji hote na aapko hota na ki aapki line bahut clear hoti hai ki ye iske bahar main nahi jaunga ye mera daira hai बट पॉलिटिक्स में सोशल लाइफ में रियलिटी में वो नहीं होता है कि कब आप किसी इंडिविजुअल को कोस रहे हो और कब वो देश को कोसने वाला इक्वेशन हो जाता है वी टेंड टू फाइंड दोज लाइन्स डिफ्यूज डू यू फील दैट वे सी विदाउट गेटिंग इन टू द पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ इट एवरी इंडियन आई बिलीव हैज टू हैव दैट आइडिया ऑफ इंडिया दर सम पीपल हु हैव एजेंडा हु हैव बायसिस हु हैव द रीजन पोलिटिकल और अदरवाइज हु टेंड टू say that that type of thing which you just mentioned Gee. but then there are rules there is law for that mm. they will be handled that way mm. but as an individual i would request everyone to keep india above these things mm. these political things will come and go mm. nation is here to stay mm. our contribution to the nation and the nationhood is what should define you and your personality mm. be counted mm. don't become अच्छा वो भी था वो भी था करेक्ट बी काउंटेड इन विच एवर मैनर यू कैन बी दैट इज वट शुड बी योर एम एंड द यंगर जनरेशन बी अ गुड सिटीजन यू कैन जस्ट से दैट आई एम गुड सिटीजन जस्ट बिकॉज इफ आई कैन ओनली ज्वाइन दाम यू नो यू कैन बी अ गुड सिटीजन इफ यू फॉलो ट्रैफिक रूल्स करेक्ट इफ यू डोंट स्पिट ऑन द रोड इफ यू मेंटेन हाइजीन यू नो इफ यू लाइक यू सेट इफ यू कैन कीप द आइडिया ऑफ नेशन अब एवरी थिंग यू मे बी ट्रेवलिंग इन अ लोकल बस एंड डिस्कसिंग समथिंग give a point that man will go home and probably think about it hmm. you are a good citizen you made a contribution hmm. so contributions are not made by only a particular manner correct contributions are made in every, every which single, way every which way so you must contribute you, you think uh, we should make national service compulsory kyunki fauj mein jo ek discipline hoti hai na ki 2 saal kam se kam aap life ek regimented tarike se guzaro taki thoda sa orientation ho jaye Do you do you agree? Uh, now NCC is now being made. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was uh, coming uh, to that. Yeah, as part of your general elective, it's not uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this one. How do you think that is going to help? See the idea of discipline in the army. Lot of people feel it comes from that punishment will get. That's why we discipline maintain. Karta. No, it comes mm. from a training. It comes from the way I conduct in front of my juniors, mm. the way my junior conducts in front of me, and what is expected of me, and what is expected of him. Mm. Why do you think Indians follow rules in uh, outside countries when they're driving a car? Correct. The Signal same India. पैदल चलने के लिए walk वाला button दबाते हैं यहाँ नहीं दबाते. So that's what it is. So in army or the defence forces, the discipline comes from how we see things, how people are near us. How do you think cantonments are so nicely laid out and green? Hmm. Why doesn't anyone throw muck 
in while working in the cantonment. Mm. So that is and national cadet corps or the mm. NCC. Mm. You look at that Havaldar Sahib who has come to give you that lecture or that the training for that particular day. Mm. Look at the way he stands. Look at the way he talks. Look at the way he is turned out. That is discipline. Mm. It comes from within. Mm. If you can get motivated by that one individual. अरे यार क्या बात कड़क आदमी था कड़क बात करता था सख्त एकदम सीधा मजा आ गया दैट्स व्हाट इट इज यू ट्राई एंड डू दैट नेक्स्ट डे योर फ्रेंड भी यार भाई क्या बात है मजा आ गया लाइक टुडे जनरेशन से मस्त है मस्त है सो दैट मस्त है थिंग्स शुड कम फ्रॉम विद इन स्मॉल थिंग्स लाइक आई जस्ट रेफर टू फॉलो ट्रैफिक रूल्स बी अ गुड सिटीजन यू नो डोंट गेट इन टू हैसल्स यू एंड मी आर गोइंग टू बी फ्रेंड्स जी that is what is more important correct my contribution towards the nation my contribution towards your well being your contribution towards my well being will make us a one big kutum correct and that is hamare to shastro mein likha hua hai nahi bilkul aap to aap jo baat keh rahe hain sahi hai lekin kahin na kahin aapko ye bhi lagta hai that we have somewhere been far removed you know the apple has started falling too far away from the tree when i say the tree of our yeah, sanskar yeah, yeah. and our sabhyata and the apple has started falling too far away from the tree so what do we do for that and how do i tell uh, or how does this generation understand or rediscover our roots what we actually stand for because everybody asks this question how do i describe bharat how do i understand what i as an indian stand for and what my country represents it's very important to know your roots because no tree can grow strong unless the roots are strong ji and 5000 sandi 5000 saal purani sabhyata today in the world of internet and, and google i think it is so easy to discover yourself mm. when i was a kid if i wanted to know about my ancestry or the nation's uh, history mm. i had to go to the library to search for books to search for that chapter and then find that particular uh, reference mm. now today on the click of a button it's yeah, in it's front of me mm. so today generation is blessed even if you devote 5 minutes in a day to just discover yourself discover your history discover your ancestry i think you will be doing a great service not to anyone else but to yourself hmm. kya baat hai bilkul 5 so, minutes 5 minutes of reading a day i to push for 50 minutes <laughs> sir to keh rahe hain 5 minute kar lo wahi bahut hai but tell me now no, no, why because moment you going to double figures uh, today generation oh, no 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 much. no uh, today is the in shots in, yeah today is the generation is a 2 minutes uh, generation 2 two, two minute generation do ka 5 minute kar lo har roz 5 minute hi padhne bahut hoga but now sir i want to understand ye kitne gazi aaye kitne gazi gaye iska thought process kya hai and and, and what are you penning uh this book which i am writing now penning now is a memoir of my lifetime okay it starts with my age hmm. maybe 2 and 1/2 3 years hmm. and talks about how i grow hmm. how i grew and how i joined the army and then the training part hmm. NDA the IMA and let me tell you when i was writing this book fortunately i have a very good memory yeah. and i am not referring to any notes so i have not, never made any notes mm. when i'm referring when i'm writing my memory and when i'm narrating a particular incident i say, oh my god mm. that incident which happened in my second term NDA came back to me when i was a corps commander oh the okay. lesson which i learned there subconsciously i did that thing mm. which had a connect with what i learnt as a second term hmm. so, so so all those failures come back come to back help to you, you as learning as yeah. a corps commander i'm hmm. telling you it's uh, it's a great uh, thing when you like we were just talking about how hmm. to discover our ancestry hmm. i'm discovering myself now how i grew up what all lessons i learnt kitne gazi aaye kitne gazi gaye is a statement which did not come out on 19th of february 2019 after pulwama uh, terrorist were killed hmm. when i went back to write my history it came back that in my childhood there was an incident huh. which i am narrating in my book huh. where i said a similar thing oh lovely and then when that question was asked hmm. and this statement kitne gazi hai kitne gazi gaye and there is a so, correlation so so lamhe to bahut sare hain so you are saying that we got to wait for the memoir to understand that incident so i will not ask you that but share with our viewers something which stayed with you right your life some incident something that happened which never left you something that you'd always remember you you uh, talked yeah. about pulwama i understand you know there the, there are few things which uh, like i talked in uh, some other interview also hmm. 
two, three things. One is when I was a second lieutenant, first day when I joined my unit, mm. and there was a morning uh, PT in high altitude. It was snowing. It was dark. Mm. East is the sun rises early, so it was a little uh, early. And I went and stood behind the Jawans. Okay. So that's what I'd seen in my training days, academy and D&I. I mean, the instructor, the captain, they used to come. They would stand behind the squad and then uh, we'd start the PT. I went and stood behind the Jawan, the Subhuda Major at that time. Subhuda Major Nandaram. I'm hmm. still in touch with him. His granddaughter is in touch with me. She oh, keeps no. asking me, sir, I want to join ND, I want to join the Army. This gentleman, Subhuda Major Saab, walked up to me after the PT was marched off and he said, Saab, Officer Hamesha Aage. Hmm. Now, these three words, the officer of Indian Army always leads from the front. Officer Hamesha Aage. Aage. Hmm. These three words stayed with me throughout my life and they proved very, I got injured a few times, hmm. but that's okay. Hmm. Another word or another phrase which is subconsciously behind my thought process, it's not done. It's not done is something every time you take out a hand to do something and if you feel something is telling you it's not done, you don't do it. Mm. Because okay. if it's not done, it is not done. Correct. And if you do it, someone is looking at you, he may be your child, he may be your Jawan, he may be your some other person who sort yeah. of you know, holds you in a very high pedestal. So it's not done, please don't do it. And most important point, about India and Indian youngsters is there is a lot of knowledge around you. Yeah. There is a lot of knowledge in the bird which is sitting on the twig. There is a lot of knowledge what your grandfather is telling you. There is a lot of knowledge what your teacher is telling you. There is a lot of knowledge even when you have hire a cab. Mm. The cab driver tells you a few things about that area where you are driving through. Correct. Keep yourself open to acquiring this knowledge. Knowledge is not acquired only by reading books. Knowledge is acquired by keeping the eyes and ears open. Oh, eyes and ears open. So that's uh, one single message. Haan, wo hi kehte na, these are the gyan ke darwaze. Gyan ke darwaze. Yes. Isko yes. Rakho, to then sab jage se gyan milta hai, you always yes. get it. You talked about uh, the granddaughter of the Subedar Major so, yeah. saying she wants to join the armed yeah. forces. So women in armed forces, are you for it? Absolutely. Hmm. Absolutely. Uh, I am from infantry. Hmm. Uh, infantry is a pure uh, male uh, arm. And till commanding officer, I had not had the occasion of commanding a woman officer, mm. but I had the occasion of meeting or interacting with the women officers posted in the brigade headquarters and above. Mm. But after my command, mm. may it be a divisional commander or corps commander, there are so many women officers working in the army in my command. Mm. And let me tell you, they are a shade better than the male officers, shade better in everything they do. In uh, 15th Corps, when I was a corps commander, mm. you know, I used to discuss everything in the open, ah. with everyone sitting. Mm. And there's something called DV matters, which are basically uh, certain uh, discipline matters, ah. which involve individuals. Mm. So those could not be discussed in public. Mm. So only that subject I used to come to my office and call the officer to explain to me. Mm. And let me tell you, at times there's a woman officer to come and explain those cases. At times there was a male officer depending on who is on leave and who is not. And every time this woman officer came to explain, she had done her homework and she had done it very, very well. well. Any question, any clarification, she was always with it. She always had it. Hmm. So commitment of women officers, I think, cannot be questioned at all. Hmm. And they must be employed as per their capabilities, as per their aptitude hmm. in overall scheme of things. Hmm. So I'm always for it. So, so you are open to women in combat across all stages if they are equally, uh, or if they are adept and like you said, based on the capability of each, in, each individual, that role should be affixed or assigned to them. That's what See, everyone does not uh, contribute to war efforts or war results by fixing the bayonet and going and bayoneting the enemy per se. Hmm. There is, there are a lot of things. Hmm. If the person who is to supply me rations, if he doesn't do his job well, I may be any amount brave, I may be any amount uh, a tiger. Hmm. I will not be able to perform to my 100%. If Correct. the intelligence guy does not give me the intelligence in time, hmm. I may not be able to perform. So there are different places. Hmm. Uh, this word combat is very misunderstood word. Correct. It's not we just have a physical the, We fight. have the combat arms, we have the combat sport arms. Hmm. 
So the women are already there in the combat sport arms. They mm. are also in combat. Yeah. You don't have to be physically going and killing that enemy with a bayonet. Mm. So it's 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 please get rid of this feeling that they are being treated as a second class citizen. Mm. They are male officers in all the arms and services. They are women officers in arms and services. Mm. So wherever you fit best. Yeah. Because in the training, the instructor is judging you very, very well. Correct. And he makes a recommendation mm. that he is or he or she is most suitable for this arm or service. Mm. And that is how you get into that arm or service. Mm. So I think uh, it's a, again, war fighting is a comprehensive ac effort. So yeah. we all contribute to it. True. Uh, my final question or one or two questions that I want to do. How much does leadership matter? And Keeping the politics aside, I know you have interacted with the Prime Minister here, you have interacted with previous leaders here. What sets Prime Minister Narendra Modi apart? We are also talking at a time when his leadership, his government is finishing eight years in government. It's a long time. And uh, so what is different and, and what sets it apart? Why is uh, a strong leadership important? See, a leader has to be strong and leader must inspire. Everybody makes that's, mistakes. That, everybody makes mistakes and because it's a team effort, every person in the team cannot perform to 100% hmm. on all the 100 days. Correct. So today the chap has, is going through a low phase, part of the game. Hmm. Tomorrow he will make up. If not, his buddy will make up for him hmm. and that's how the team effort is there. Hmm. This team effort in any field, hmm. not only in politics or military, even in uh, media. Media, everywhere. The yeah. team effort is, I will say, multiplied exponentially if the leadership is good hmm. if the leader inspires if the leader is not always ticking you off for small things hmm. if the leader gives you a pat even when you know okay you have you know mucked it up hmm. he comes out and say hi anand well done good now that went out nicely hmm. you covered it up very well hmm. he's not talking about how you made a mistake hmm. he's patting you for how you covered it up covered it how you made up for it or made up for it and this is how you feel inspired to do better the next day. Hmm. But if your boss comes and tells you, you believe did this, 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 that, this is not the way and you let me down. Hmm. The next program which you're anchoring after 15 minutes, you will make more mistakes. Correct. So subconsciously you are not comfortable with the environment. Yeah, because you're still staying back staying. and holding so back to that's the That's why team. in the army also, the hmm. leadership is most important. Hmm. Again, I'm writing in my book, uh, the few instances where the Juan says, Sab, just because you are here, yeah. I'm okay. I'm okay. And I'm reassured. Uh, reassured. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been here if you are not here. Mm. So that is how the leadership matters. Mm. And it puts a lot of onus on the leader. I've seen it from the other side also. Yeah. It puts so much onus on the leader. Like the word I just used, it's not done. It's not done. You may be wanting to do a particular thing, but it's not done is what you know keeps you back because you are a leader. You are a leader. The people are looking at you. Leadership, I think, is a very important aspect of any team game. Hmm. Any team game. Hmm. Many, many wonder how did the government, the armed forces and the entire administration pull off the abrogation of Article 370 and that period, 5th of August 2019. I was there in Srinagar, but uh, I also wanted to meet you at that time. But there was just so much happening that I, uh, you know, the access was limited. I said, Kabhi to main General Saab se milunga. Dekhi, mulaqat aaj ho gai hai. Why us din ne sari, but three years later. But uh, what do you think? worked and how was it that India was able to do what it was? Because everybody thought this was impossible and you just put a hyphen between I, M and possible. <laughs> That's what happened. That's what the government and the administration did. See, uh, that was the government's decision hmm. to abrogate Article 370 and 35A. Hmm. So, why delayed, why late, I am not going into that. Hmm. But on the day when it was taken, hmm. I was the core commander. Yeah. And as part of the team security forces, it was my responsibility to ensure it is implemented in totality. Hmm. The government's writ runs in Jammu and Kashmir, as also there is no collateral damage, yeah. there are no casualties. Hmm. So we team security forces, which includes Indian Army, Jammu Kashmir Police, BSF, CRPF, yeah. ITBP, and the civil administration, and most importantly, the intelligence agencies. We put our head together, we got together. Two things we tasked ourselves. Mm. One is, there has to be implementation of this 
rule or law of the government in totality without a single iota of doubt here or there. Mm. It has to be implemented in totality mm. and it has to be implemented with the fact from 5th of August. Mm. So that is one aim we had. Second is while implementing this, we knew the challenges. Mm. There will be challenges from international media, there will be challenges from Pakistan, there will be challenges from the Huriyat and yeah. terrorists and yeah. other people who will try and disrupt this. Our intention and aim was we have to crush all these challenges without causing a single civilian casualty or damage to any property of civilian or government. Mm. Now with these two aims, we worked 24-7, that's how probably you didn't get yeah. time to meet. And otherwise I was always open to meet anyone. No, 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 I know. So mm. these two aims, we worked like a clock. We used to meet twice every day at the highest level. Mm. Small things like I get a report from some village in Handwara yeah. through my company commander, a major officer, where ATM is not in ATM. I'll put this point to the divisional commissioner. So and so village in Handwara, does the ATM money has gone down. Mm. He would, sitting there, only give a call and by the time we finish the meeting of 45 minutes, he would say, sir, that's the money. The money. You know, the money has been filled up or topped up. So that is the time. And like I would get some uh, input from other people. Okay, army there, there, whatever. Mm. So I'm telling you, it was a very coordinated effort. And we put in a lot of effort. We are not taking pride, we are not taking uh, credit for it, mm. but we are taking pride in it. Ji. That because of our small efforts, small inputs, the nation's writ runs in Jammu and Kashmir and that is what we were paid for, that is what we are designed for. Correct. We are but one arm of the nation. Ji. And we implemented the government's policy no, in totality. It, it was phenomenally done. My final question to you, uh, General Saab, I know you also have a tough and a busy schedule. Even though he's not uh, in active service <laughs> anymore, he's busier actually. That's why we're doing an early morning conversation with him. But uh, let me ask you, the next 25 years, how do you see? Is this Bharat ka time agya? Aapko lagta hai ki it's it's come. This is the right time. Do you agree with the Prime Minister's vision saying let's look at it from 75 to 100? So 2022 to 1947. Oh sorry, 2047. So let's look at this. How do you see this? And that would be also the message to our viewers. See, I am a always and eternally a positive person. And going by all the indicators. May it be economic indicators, may it be diplomatic indicators, may it be military indicators, may it be the Atam Nirbhar indicators. Our nation is on upward flight. And the curve is not going to be very, very gradual. Curve is going to be very sharp upwards. So next 25 years, hmm. like you said, have we arrived? I say we have already arrived. Hmm. And why I'm saying we have already arrived is look at what happened in Ukraine and Russia. Correct. Our stand. Hmm. Our stand in that conflict, someone asked me the other day, where do you stand? Huh. I said, India stands on its two feet. Two feet. Well, good. India has already shown that we have arrived hmm. and the number of world dignitaries, dignitaries who have come to India in the last two months hmm. from both the camps Correct. is also an indication that we are there and we are being counted. Yeah. Our opinion matters. Opinion matters. Our presence matters. Yeah. Our friendship matters. And we have never been enemy with anyone in the 5,000 years. Hmm. So that is where we stand. And we are not going to be nudged by small irritants here and there. Hmm. Look at our neighbor. Hmm. Whole day, his Allah is <laughs> ah. only Kashmir, India. Correct. Obsession is with Obsession. Us. For us, that's just one irritant here and there. Correct. Hum must hathi hai, must hathi. Makhiyan bin nati rahengi. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure, sir. Thank you. India, we have done something. On that note, thank you very, very much for watching this broadcast.